What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial on Java. So kung tagal ko naman mag-upload. So essentially na guys, school works kasi. So in this, um, my last video tutorial, tutorial is about for loops, I think. Or, I mean, I think it's while loops or do while loops or parang ganun. So, yun. So, in this tutorial guys, pag-usapan na natin ay ang array. So, paano nga ba ang array? So, Arrays guys, um, basically is type of data structure, ganyan. So, if, um, baga kong simula, if you know anything about C, PHP, ganun. So, pareho lang naman yung concept niya. Kung alam niyo ba yung array o oh, na data structure, the concept of it. So, pareho lang naman dito sa so Java. Parehong pareho lang naman. So, mag lang kayo the way na yung pag-initialize, ganun, or the um, declaration of the array in Java. So, ganun lang naman. Yes. Pero sa mga beginner, so... I'm here, don't worry. <laughs> so, for example guys, you have a programming problem in Java na kailangan nyo ng 50 numbers. So, arrays um, is a very specific na gano'n na type ng solution. So, for example, meron kayong 50, na 50 numbers na kailangan nyo store. So, hindi naman pwede gaganito kayo. For example, integer x, then magdi-declare ka ng integer x1, integer x2, so on and so on hanggang 50. So, matatagal lang kayo niyan. So, arrays is uh, the best solution for that. So, kahit isang declare, declare lang, meron na kayong 15 pwedeng masturan na ano. So, I'll, I'll may, I'll made, I'm just made um, a simple demonstration drawing ng arrays. So, if you're going, pag, pag once na tinuro ko na sa'yo ang pag-declare ng, sa inyo, pag-declare ng arrays, ganito lang ang iturang i-imagine nyo. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in arrays, we have what we call the index. So, index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ano nga ba ang index? So, in arrays, index um, is useful. Ginagamit natin yan para, for example, eto, this, um, we, parang tinitingnan kasi natin to as the location or uh, index nga in a specific value. For example, etong number 4. Paano natin ma-access yan na number 4 or kung gusto natin palitan ng bagong value using the index mag mag magagawa natin yun which is, anong index ba siya? index 3 diba? index 3 kasi 0, 1, 2, 3 and, tatandaan nyo arrays always starts in index 0 0 yan, hindi yan it always starts with um, index 0, hindi 1, hindi 2, hindi 3. Excuse me guys, sorry I had to pause the video because may nasi ka sila. So as I've said, um, not 1, 2, or 3, hindi siya nag-start doon. So always starts with 0. So what if magtata kayo hanggang 5 ba talaga? Yan na hanggang 5 lang ba talaga to? So hindi, actually pwede siyang... Sorry, I had to post, pause the video again. So, as I've said, um, hindi siya hanggang 5 lang. So, we can actually declare. Uh, this, actually, guys, this is what we call the size of the array, the etong 5. So, nilalagay natin sa pag-declare natin ng array is 5. Minal, minal, may nilalagay naman doon. So, pero actually, kung makikita nyo, um, as I've said, um, 5. Kung bibilangin natin 0, I mean 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pero, malilito kayo 5 dito. Kasi, yun lang naman ang nangyayari nga. Kasi, index lang yung tinitingnan natin doon. Which is, it always starts with 0. So, yun. This is actually the size of the, ano, kung makikita nyo. 6, yung ano nga. So, <coughs> excuse me. Ganun. Ganun siya. So, actually, pwede naman to maging hanggang, ano, kahit 200 pa yan. 200. Siyempre, 200, eh, magiging yung index niyan is 199. Diba? Kasi it always starts with 0. Tingnan niyo to, as I've said, 6 to kung bibilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pero bakit 5 dito? Kasi nga, starts with 0. So, ganun na naman guys, ganun na naman. So, gawin ko itong gato, ganito para ma mating, ma tis, masilip nyo to. So, again, bako magsimula, um, this concept, ito, ito kasi is integer, Pero, kung isipin nyo, in boolean, float, double, character, same concept lang. 
Starts with zero, pwede kayo dyan maglagay ng character, boolean, at ganyan. And, yes, indexing rin ang pag-access ng values niya. So, parang you can imagine an array, parang cabinet yung, di ba, yung ganoon, yung cabinet na <clears throat> parang pababa, di ba? So, parang ganun guys. So, how do we declare an array? So, ganito. Um, again, uh, yan ko lang sa si integer then You can handle it in other data types kasi same lang, concept lang naman sila. Excuse me. Same concept. So, you just have to type the data type, integer, then open and closing, what do you call these brackets? Bala na. So, then the name of your variable. And again, the name of your variable is always up to you. Kahit anong nilagay nyo dyan sa, uh, sa variable name nyo. In my case, array. Integer array is equal to new int. Ganyan. Then, in this part, uh, for example, uh, lagay natin is 6. So, that's how you initialize, I mean, declare um, an empty array. So, what if kung gusto kong i-initialize? So, um, what I mean by initialize is lagyan na ng value tulad nito. So, Kung gusto nyo, kung may initialize naman kayong sigurado na, you can do this, you can do this. You can do it like this naman. For example, um, integer array is equal to blah, blah, blah. Ganito. Ganyan. Then, for example, lagay tayo ng, for example, um, ano, ano ba to? 10, 1, 10, 1, 3, 4, 7, 8. 10, 1, 3, 4, 7, 8. Ganyan. So, Kung magtataka kayo, warning nyo naman to, so it's just, it's okay. So, magtataka kayo, bakit po lang error? So, wala naman akong dinagay na size. So, once na ginawa nyo to, automatically, kung ilan to, kung ilan ang initialize nyo yung values, yun na rin yung size nya. Gets? So, yun na yung bato. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6. 6 na yung size nya. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to be specific sa index. So, ganun. So, you can actually um, do this rain. So, maraming paraan, guys. Integer array. Then, you can actually do this. Una muna, array is equal to new int. Una muna is yung, yung ganito. Parang kinat lang naman. So, you can actually do that. So, and you can um, initialize parang ganito in this way. So, ano to? Yan nga yun. 10, 1, 3, 4, 7, 8. 10, 1, 3, 4, 7, 8. Oops. 10, 1, 3, 4, 7, 8. Ganyan. You can actually do that. So, pwede rin kayo maglalagay dito ng gusto nyo maglagay ng size dyan. So, di ba nag-error? So, yan. <laughs> Kalimut ako. Ano uh, kasi yan. So, in that, case, in that case, in Java, I think, you don't, you don't really need. Kasi as I've said, Kung ilan yung initialize nyo, yan na yung, kumbaga, automatic na, naiintindihan na niya, na ganyan yung size. So, kasi, di ba, kung naglalagay kayo, it makes an, ano, nagka-error siya. Kasi, once you initialize, kung ilan siya, automatically, inano na yan ng Java. So, ganyan yung size. So, no need for, ano, so, to put the size, ganyan. So, it's just another semantics thing or syntax thing. I mean, syntax thing, yes. So, ganyan. So, ganun lang naman, ganun. So, ganito na. Um, so, as I've said, ano pa, may nakalimutan ba ako? So, ganun lang pag-initialize. Uh, Tinuro ko na yung pag-initialize ng empty array. In different, ano. So, then, the one, um, I mean, we declared an empty array. Then, ito yung initialize. Tinuro ko yung una yan. Then, ito. So, uh, next the one is kung paano ba kung for example etong alam natin na ito is location 0 1 2 3 4 5 di ba ganun lang naman so eto na yon eto na yon so kung palitan natin yung index 0 na 100 ganun so all you have to do is array the name of your array variable the, I mean, variable name. Then, open and closing parentheses, ay parentheses, brackets, bayan or curly base brackets. Then, you just write the specific location. Then, yan. Then, is equal 
to 100. Ganun lang naman ka simple. So, in this line of code, eh, basically means na eto, array, our variable name, the array variable name, location, location, location or index 0 is equal to 100. So, meaning, ito lang naman is pinapalitan natin ng value. This is actually the value. Ito yung value niya. Ito yung value ng kada index. So, nakalimutan kong sabihin. So, basically, ito 100 na to pinapalitan natin ng value na 100. So, if we print it, that, um, that print, print line, array 0. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, you can store this to... Um, uh, another variable. So, parang no need naman. I mean, what I mean is parang ganyan. So, packet pa natin gagawin dyan. So, yun. Once we print this up, ito ba? 100 dyan. So, ganun. So, what if, ganun lang naman. So, for example, ganyan ito yung just subtotype. For example, um, location 2 or 0 2. I mean, index 2. So, what is index 2 in our array? Anong value ng index 2? Tama, it's 3. So, titignan nyo lang naman dito. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ganun lang naman, ganun lang naman kasimple. So, simple, simple, simple lang naman ang arrays. So, pag pinunit natin yan, it's actually 100. So, gawin natin na 120 is 120. So, Kung makikita nyo, um, kung pwede ba natin i-print lahat ng arrays? So, I think pwede. The, the way is like this ata. We can use this or we can use the for loop. Um, sa next tutorials ko na yun yeah, i-discuss kung paano i-print. So, actually, it's ginagamit yun actually in C. Pero I think Java, pwede nyo gawin ganito. O, oh, ba Parang ata, I think. So, Pero ituro pa rin yun. O oh, hindi, hindi isa na gano'n. How, paano na nga yun? Hmm. So actually, so mamaya, mamaya na yun. <laughs> Parang, I think I forgot the syntax on paano maisa yun. Hmm, wait lang. System that have that print lean. Hello array. Parang nakalimut akong kasi eh. Wala naman pinagbago, pareho lang naman. Tanga-tanga ko. <laughs> Yun. So, actually, ituro ko yung um, pag-print ng lahat ng uh, laman ng array. So, wait. Ilan ba tayo? 12 minutes, 13 minutes. So, I'll teach you guys um, the next tutorial kung paano ba pag-print ng ano. Hopefully, may, matandaan ko yung search ko na lang sa Google mamaya. So, it's almost 12.41 a.m. kasi. So, Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. So in this next tutorial, um, I'll discuss the the for loop way. Parang parang kailang para sa akin mas magandang malaman niyo yun about don. So using the for loop para maprint to. Pero sa mga may alam din sa ibang programming languages, so basically alam niyo yung kung paano. Pareho pareho lang naman once if you know yung paraan na yun sa C or sa PHP ganon. Pareho lang naman, pareho lang naman. So Diba halos pareho lang naman ang concept niya. Iba lang yung syntax talaga in other programming languages. So, may nakalimutan pa ba ako? So, yun. Ito. Array 2. Ito yung pag ano niya. Then, ano pa ba? Ito yung, yung pag change ng value. If you want to change the value. For example, 0. Ganyan. Or 600. So, um, by the way, ito pa pala, um, one way to, if you want to initialize so na gusto nyo pera pa ng sarili nyo, for example, ganito. Um, alisin ko na to, kasi alam nyo naman. For example, integer, ganyan, array is equal to new int, then meron kayong 5. Then you can actually naman do this. <laughs> ganyan, then ganyan. So, parang pinapera pa nyo lang sa diri nyo, sa diri nyo, sarili nyo. So, ganyan. To. So, it's very um, lame way to do. So, para mas maganda yun yung dati. So, wala lang. Gusto ko lang. This is actually yung ano. Well, just one way to initialize kasi. As I've said, um, this, the location of this um, array 0 is will be equal to 100. 
So, yun lang yung magkagusto nyo para pa sarili nyo. So, at least, sinabi ko. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope na may natutunan kayo. So, kung may nakalimutan pa ako, so, it's 12.43 na kasi, uh, ipahabol ko na lang sa next tutorial. So, thank you sa mga new subscribers. Thanks! Hope na may natutunan kayo. Salamat!